Beloved, October 8, 2018. I kept asking the Lord, Lord, what else? What else do you want to say to your people in this Congress? And the Lord gave me another title. I cannot say that it is more interesting than the previous ones, but it is of much equal importance because everything that comes from the Lord is extremely important. And the title was, Who Rules Your Life in Front of the Line of Fire? And he told me, If then you eat or drink or do other thing, do it for the glory and honor of God. The Lord says to the law and to the testimony, if they do not say according to this, it is because it has not dawned on them, because such is a liar, and there is no truth in him. Therefore be jealous and repent. He continued by saying that there are only two powers, one less than the other. We all have the duty to decide whether for life or to hesitate and automatically have death. We will all very soon be permanently possessed, either by God or the enemy, and there is no middle ground. He continued saying, How then can you become and think that you rule your life when you are faced with a life or death decision? Don't you understand the times? Look at the earth trembling like a drunkard, and the sea mad, and the giants waking up smoke, fire, and brimstone, fluttering. Did I not tell you about these things? And how do you say my Lord is slow to come? O oh, bad, indolent servant, will your efforts save you without following God's perfect plan? Can you conquer with your own reasoning? See my strategy, seek for it, and live it in joy and gratitude, because I tell you that in the earthly battle, some even, if they prepare, will perish. But in my battle, my army, the one who follows all my war strategies, hearing my voice, and by putting them into practice, no one will fall to death and will be more than a victor. Study, scrutinize, learn, do, and you will live. Can a soldier in his training hesitate and not be concentrated in him? Verily I tell you, that if it be so, it will certainly die. Choose today whom to serve, for the time is fulfilled. Beloved, the Lord here spoke to me about many things. He spoke to me about the stages that we must go through, on living in the field, all the things that we must be doing so that He can work a transformation in us, so that the preparation of the character, which is the most important, because it is what we are really going to take to heaven, be ready. He also told me that we must be ready for the time of not buying and selling, so that we will soon be ready for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, so that we can have the necessary investiture to give the loud cry, and therefore, dear brothers, then the plagues will come, and with this, the persecution will unleash for the true children of God. But then the harvest will be ready, complete, and so then he will be our protector. His powerful angels will fight for us. He already has his army ready in pro for the souls of those who are going to be saved. While I was in all these things ecstatic, while God was telling me all this, he gave me another title for this Congress. Can I be saved? before the line of fire. Then he said to me, Can those who can die bear this great evil? Did Achan not know what to do? Did Eli measure his destiny? I wish you could see and understand where is your place to obtain salvation. Can any mortal survive the final fight without special help? No, in no way, he replied. So why do you reject me following the desires of your deceitful heart? Will your study save you? Will your money be of help? Could it be that your goods will be of guarantee of life? Will the wood say to the fire, don't burn me? Only on a strict observance of my orders will you be able to be saved. My yoke is quick. 
and lightweight my burden also. But you go under your own reasoning, and this will be of perdition to you. The invisible host, he told me, are ready in battle, and my work is about to end. How can you dare to dwell on your reasoning and think that you will come out unharmed? Lovers of yourselves more than of God, who are not afraid to make your own path that leads to perdition and are afraid to walk the path that leads to eternal life. Will you let your son walk among serpents and will not warn him? But I tell you that not only will your reasoning make you walk among serpents, but this will kill you because the hand of the Lord is extended and you did not want it and you did not wish for his salvation. And he asked a question. Could it be that your desires that are like tow will be more than my wishes of eternal glory for you? And he answered, Advance in my ways and you will live and find rest for your souls. How will you dare to save your children if you yourselves do not want the requirements of salvation? He asked, I left everything for you, but you give me what is left over. Am I not your creator and sustainer? You say yes, but you don't trust me. You only trust what your hands do. But I tell you that only the one who trusts in me can be saved in the line of fire. Dear brothers, this was tremendous for my life. So I faithfully share it with you. May God grant it be able to penetrate deeply in each one of us and that we can decide for the Lord. May the Lord bless you.